I'm Carrie Miller, host of Mid Morning, and I'm outside the new building that's about three quarters of the way finished. And here's the really cool thing. When it's all done, all of Minnesota Public Radio's employees will be under one roof for the first time in a long time. And look at the open design. We think that's really going to inspire creativity and nourish spirits. So let's go inside. Now I'm inside and I'm standing in the glass walled atrium. This is where people from the company and people from the community will gather. Here's a few things you might not know. With this construction, we've added over 100,000 square feet of new space, nine new studios, 10 new production suites, and it's all designed to better serve the nearly 800,000 listeners that we have in the region and nearly 15 million listeners nationwide. From the Midwest and it doesn't matter where, say, say, if you can drink tap water and breathe the air, say, I'm in what's gonna be the newsroom, the reporters will work right there, the editors over there, and the talk shows on that side. When we all need to get together to talk about breaking news or ongoing stories, we're gonna come here to the conference room. In all, the space of the newsroom is gonna nearly double. You know, we needed more studios like this one after we added our new music service, 89.3 The Current. It was a great addition to Minnesota Public Radio's already strong arts and culture programming, and we want to do more of that. In fact, this building is going to enhance everything we do with musicians and authors and live performances, both in-house and out in the community. I'm outside the archive room and that big purple thing right over my shoulder is nicknamed Barney. What it really is is a digital tape unit where eventually thousands of hours of radio recordings will be stored. Someday they'll all be available to the public but some are so fragile even now that they're at risk of being lost. So imagine this, 40 years of Minnesota broadcasting history stored right in the archives and everything from this day forward. Here we are in the forum where we can accommodate 150 people. This is where we're going to bring together members of the community and experts and newsmakers for conversation and debate. We'll also invite donors in as well, and well, maybe we'll stage a couple of fun drives here too. Whoever is here gets a great view of the state capitol in downtown St. Paul. see what we're calling the Members Walk. It's comprised of personalized bricks dedicated to people who contributed and helped make this all possible. As you know, members are an important part of Minnesota Public Radio's history and a very important part of our future. So thanks for coming along on the tour and thanks for your support. Yeah.